Good morning, Kentucky. Welcome back. Time is 641. Well, here at ABC 36, we're always looking for ways to become more environmentally friendly. And joining us this morning is Amy Stoner, Executive Director of Bluegrass Pride. And we wanted to talk about, you know, some different things we can do. And here is one beautiful suggestion. This is a rain barrel. Tell us a little bit about rain barrels. Sure. Well, rain barrels are a really good way that people can have an individual choice in how they affect water quality. The idea is that the downspout attaches to your to side of your house, collects the water, and then you let it out to water your garden or just let it out on a sunny day. And the idea is that it doesn't, the water is held in here and it doesn't pick up pollutants and take it down to nearby streams. And you get a good watering source and you don't have to, you can save money on, on municipal water bills. Yeah, and this is perfect for, you know, during the summer, during the drought, you yes. know, <laughs> you already have all the water in here, so you don't, you know, have to worry about, uh, you know, watering times or anything. Right. You have all the water here. Exactly. And, you know, this is very unique. A lot of people can go out and buy whatever you know, rain barrel they want. But this is unique. You have something from Kentucky. Tell us a little bit about what you are doing here. Sure. Well, we sell rain barrels all year round, plain ones, but once a year for the sixth year in a row. We have get, uh, gotten local artists to decorate barrels. We display them throughout central Kentucky to uh, let people know about water quality and, and, and provide a beautiful piece of art for them to look at. And then we bring them all together um, and we're going to have a big reception and, and have them all available and then auction them on eBay. And you all have, uh, it's a certain time, it's at the Lexington Green next Saturday. Right, June 5th, uh, next Saturday from 5.30 to 7.30. We'll have food from Regatta, we'll have some drinks, we'll be able to meet the local artists there. Mm -hmm. um, this one was done by a middle school, so hopefully some of the middle school students will come out from Woodford County and uh, tell you about their butterflies that they learned about in the process. Yeah, so you, the, you know, this was Woodford County Middle School, and that last year they did uh, native vegetables. They did. And then this year they're doing the butterflies. And talk about some of the other artists that do this. Uh, we have local artists, we have an artist from Indiana that does it. It's been, mm -hmm. It's become a really popular thing. We have to turn artists away every year um, to, to do the barrels. And we have a sort of a small process. If you're interested in being a, a rain barrel artist, you just send us a, a paragraph about you and about what you want to put on your barrel. And then we put you in the in the little picking pile, sort of. Okay, awesome. And you know, all the money raised, once it goes on eBay, all the money raised goes back into helping uh, Central Kentucky learn how to become more environmental friendly. That's right. We pay for our AmeriCorps member. Each year we have an AmeriCorps member and their job is to do K through 12 education about water quality, about energy conservation, and about waste reduction in 18 counties. Okay, well thank you, Amy, thank and, don't, you. and don't forget you can always go to bgpride.org or go to our website, wtvq.com, and click on the Green Begins With Me link. That's next Saturday, 5 to 7, at Lexington Green. Well, the next several days may be able to gain some rain in some of these barrels, so I'll detail that full forecast coming up in a few minutes.